identity. What are, are some of the hallmark uh, aha moments that your clients have? The fact that uh, often, uh, oftentimes there's still the idea that uh, branding is a cosmetic exercise. Yes. That it's not. That it's not. Uh, that it's that, that it's, it's sort, sort of like. Superficial. Can, can we lay this the, out better? Can we make it look better? You know. And, and right. It, what and color it's very, is that? Can we exactly change the shade a little? And and that's that's one of the first things we have to strip away because because branding really in essence it really is the art of differentiation. Oh. That's what branding really is. The branding. You know how do how do you and I when we're just, when we're looking for something if we're whether we're looking for shoes or a car or or something for the house or or whatever. How do you and I know that that brand is the one that speaks me, that yeah. gets me? You know, and how do I know that one as distinct from any other one? So that's the first sort of point where people go, hmm. Because they, because, you know, you look at, if I were to say to you, you know, Apple, you know, as far as a computer, you wouldn't confuse it with a Dell mm -hmm. or Windows or this, that, the other. Mm -hmm. Women love details. Mm -hmm. Women are the greatest consumers in the world. And if you're lucky enough to have a product that can, that can really appeal to a female consumer, uh, that's fabulous. Uh, celebrate that and embrace it because it's an incredible opportunity. Women do something that men are genetically, I think, incapable of doing. <laughs> oh, no. they, they, they actually will excitedly talk about a product and basically create a spontaneous infomercial uh, with their girlfriends. Oh. I'm picturing almost like a track, and so there's already runners on the track, and so your first instinct might be to just set yourself at a pace with everyone on the track, but you're saying... That's, that's, uh, that is the most costly mistake that, that a business can make. <laughs> it is. And you, know, and you know why? It's because, and then this is actually a point that's covered in, in the book, it's the failure to distinguish and really understand that what you're selling as a company and you know what you're making, what you're selling, uh, is not what people are buying. That there's actually oh. a dividing line. For example, you know Nike. Let's let's talk about now. If I came to you and I said, "Hey, you want some synthetic and rubber to put around your feet?" <laughs> right. I know you're all over it. It's, it's like, not a Can I write the track right, right now? You know, right. not for so eighty what? bucks. Who for cares? Shoes? Exactly. Right. Right. But if I if I actually painted the picture and the dream and the aspiration. Of being an Olympic, you know, athlete, being a gold medal winner, being able to fly in the sky endlessly, defying gravity. Yeah. Or struggling experience. <laughs> but I think the path that that we're espousing, it's uh, more scary. You know, you're you're kind of really putting a stake in the ground versus, I am going to please everyone. I am going to endeavor to be all things to everyone. That. The apparency is that that's more secure, but you're saying it's not. It's not. The scariest thing is to actually uh, being a generalist and standing for nothing.